Hello and welcome to a new springy tutorial. I have for you this week the full pattern of this short sleeve blouse which you can find on my website, link in the description box for many other sizes. It is a simple and very easy blouse which gives those sea and vacations vibes that we all need right now. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. For this blouse I am using 100% mercerized cotton in blue for the main color and white for the stripes and a 4mm hook. We start crocheting 34 chain stitches for the front panel which is the same pattern for the back panel as well. In this tutorial I am making a size XS. Once I finish 34 chain stitches yarn over, skip 2 chains and insert the hook at 3rd chain and crochet a half double crochet. Continue crocheting all the stitches with half double crochet till the end of the row. For the rest of the sizes from S to 3XL, please check my website and follow the instructions for the size that fits you. If you like more tutorials like this, let me know in the comments section down below and give this video a thumbs up so I know that I have to make more patterns like this one. At the end of the first row you must have 32 half double crochet stitches in total. For the second row crochet 2 chains which do not count as a stitch throughout. Turn your work, yarn over, insert the hook at the first stitch and crochet a half double crochet. Continue working half double crochet stitches until the end of the second row. In total you will have 32 half double crochet stitches. Once the second row is done, we crochet 2 chain stitches, which do not count as a stitch throughout. Turn your work and start crocheting the pattern for the third row. Yarn over and crochet 2 half double crochet in the first stitch, which means we made an increase at the beginning of the row with one stitch. Then continue crocheting 1 half double crochet on each stitch until the before last stitch of the row. At the last stitch of the row we crochet 2 half double crochet which means we've made another increase at the end of the third row with one stitch. At the end of the third row you must have 34 stitches in total. For the fourth till sixth row we repeat the pattern of the third row which means that for the fourth, fifth and sixth row we make an increase at the first stitch and at the last stitch of the row. So, for each row we increase 2 stitches. At the end of the 6th row you must have 40 stitches in total. And your work will look like this. For the 7th row we repeat the pattern of row 2, which means we crochet one half double crochet stitch on each stitch till the end of the row. At the end of the 7th row you must have in total 40 stitches. This is how your work will look like once the first 7 rows are done. Now we start repeating the pattern from row 3 till row 7 3 more times. In total 15 rows for size XS. At the end of row 22 you will have 64 stitches in total. You will end up with your work looking like this and now for row 23 till row 25 we repeat the pattern of third row. Which means that we make one increase at the first stitch of the row and another increase at the last stitch of the row. So for the next three rows we increase two stitches per row. At the end of row 25 we will have in total 70 stitches. You can place a marker for each section to help with the counting but this is totally optional. Once row 25 is done, your work will look like this. With this row we finish the increases and now we continue working straight for the next 27 rows. Which means for the next 27 rows we will crochet one half double crochet on each stitch till the end of the row. At the end of row 52 your work will measure approximately 40 cm 
And now we start the last, the last five rows, which create a ribbing for the blouse. It's totally optional, of course. For row 53, chain 2, which now count as a stitch throughout. Turn your work and crochet front post double crochet at the second stitch. So to crochet front post double crochet, find the second stitch, insert the hook sideways at the stitch, pull a loop, and continue closing the loops two by two. Continue crocheting a second front post double crochet at the next stitch. Then follow by crocheting one double crochet for the next two stitches. Then just continue repeating this pattern till the end of the row, two front post double crochet, two double crochet. The alternation of these two stitches will give the ribbing effect. At the end of row 53 you will end up with three double crochet since the last stitch is not possible to crochet as a full front post double crochet. Then two chains which count as a stitch throughout. Turn your work and follow the pattern for row 54. Where we have crocheted double crochet on the previous row we crochet double crochet in this row as well. So the pattern for row 54 is one double crochet for the next two stitches. And where we have front post double crochet on the previous row, we will be back post double crochet in this row. So to crochet back post double crochet, find the next stitch, insert the hook sideways at the stitch, but now from the back. And then again back post double crochet at the next stitch. And then continue two double crochet and two back post double crochet until the end of the row. For the ribbing section we crochet 5 rows in total, 3 of which are front post double crochet and double crochet and 2 of which are uh, back post double crochet and double crochet. Once finished all 57 rows make a chain and pull some yarn which we will use for the sewing and then fasten off. Now let's crochet the sleeves. We crochet two of them with a 4mm hook and the main color crochet 15 chains. For the first row skip two chains, yarn over and make one half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. Then continue one half double crochet into each chain to the end of the row. In total you will have 13 half double crochet stitches. For the second row we crochet two chain stitches which do not count as a stitch throughout. Turn your work and follow the pattern. Two half double crochet in the first stitch which means that we have increased one stitch at the beginning of this row. And then one half double crochet into each stitch until the before last stitch. Then at the last stitch, two half double crochet, which means we increased with one stitch 
at the last stitch of the row as well. So in total we increased 2 stitches. At the end of second row we will have 15 half double crochet stitches in total. Then let's move on to the third row. We repeat the pattern of row 2 for this row as well. So chain 2, which do not count as stitch throughout, 2 half double crochet in the first stitch, 1 half double crochet into each stitch until the before last stitch, and then 2 half double crochet at the last stitch. In total, 17 half double crochet stitches for the third row. For the next 5 rows, we repeat the same pattern as row 2 and 3, which means we increase 2 stitches per row. At the end of the 8th row, you will have 27 stitches in total. This is how your work will look like once you finish 8 rows. At the 9th row, we start working with the white color, which will give us the stripes. Leave the blue color and pick the white. Pull a loop at the last stitch and try to tangle the white end of the yarn. Then crochet 2 chains with white, turn your work and keep repeating again the same pattern as in the previous row, increasing 1 half double crochet at the first and last stitch of the row. At the end of row 9 you will have 29 stitches in total. Then chain 2, turn your work and repeat the same pattern on the way back. So this is row 20, which at the end of this row you will have 31 stitches in total. At the end of the second row with white color, we leave the white yarn and pick the main blue color. Chain 1 and pull the white yarn so we don't have a loose loop. Then 2 chains more. Turn your work. For the next 2 rows we repeat the same pattern as the one with white color. We increase at the first and last stitch of each row. The next 2 rows that we will crochet with the main color are row 21 and 22. At the end of these 2 rows you must have 35 stitches in total. Your work will look like this once you finish row 22. Next we will repeat the same pattern two more times with white and one more time with blue. In total for size XS we will have three white and two blue stripes, each with two rows. But for this size only I went on and made one more row with blue color at the end. So in total for this size the sleeves will have 19 rows and at the end of the sleeve you will have 49 stitches in total. Please check the written pattern for the size that you are making, the right quantity of rows and stitches. This is how your work will look like once you finish the whole pattern for the sleeve. And at the end, fasten off. Now on to the sewing. Put the front and back panel on top of each other. The right side should be in and the wrong side should face out. Also fix with markers the corresponding rows where the bust started. This helps with a more precise sewing. Next count the rows of the sleeves and fix again with markers the beginning of the sleeve with the beginning of the panel, then end of the sleeve with the 19th row of the big panel. Continue for the other side of the sleeve with the other panel. Do the same for the other sleeve. Now on with the sewing. With a tapestry needle and same main color yarn, sew with a very simple way, as you see me doing, both sides of the bodice.
then on to the sleeves, so each side of the sleeve to the bodice panels. Turn inside out and you are done! And here it is, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up if so, and I will see you on my next one! Tschüss!